is time for Emerald Eats, where we get to highlight amazing food in our area. Yes, and today we are joined by Chef Trin Nguyen with Basa. Welcome, welcome. We're so happy to have you. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, yeah, so you opened in 2019 on Bainbridge Island. So tell us a little bit about how the restaurant started. So, um... My parents started um, their American dream uh, with opening their pho restaurant in Post Bowl back in 2005. Um, my mom and dad retired in 2018. Um, we took over that restaurant, started to tweak a little bit into how we wanted to do it. Was it very well received? Um, oh, customer good. wanted our, our parents' menu, um, which is great because you know they did such a good job. And so we did a pop up in Bainbridge uh, with Chef Brendan. And um, he nudged me and he says, hey, you know, there's a spot next door that's for rent. You should really inquire. And so I was like, okay, well, it doesn't hurt. I called <laughs> the owner. Um, and, you know, six months later, we opened in 2019 of um, August. Well, August of 2019. That's Beautiful. awesome. Yeah. So you're a pro now. It's been a couple <laughs> years. What are we making today? We are making Bangkok today. Um, so I brought together with us a little Bangkok pan. Okay. Uh, Bangkok is a mini savory pancake, a smaller version of what bun sale is. So if you're familiar with Vietnamese cooking or uh, well, Vietnamese food, bun sale is very popular. But what I love about Bangkok is it's so small. And you can eat as many as you want without feeling guilty. Oh, oh good. Like Sign me up. Yeah. Yes. So what's the first step? The first step is heating up the pan, um, getting the oil in there. I prepped it a little bit just so that we'll be ready for it. Mm -hmm. I have this batter right here that's pre-mixed just for the purpose of the show. Um, and then the batter is super simple. My uh, recipe is rice flour, coconut cream, oil, eggs, uh, turmeric Ooh. here. Oh, beautiful. Um, in the recipe that I share, there's a little bit of a concoction that I made, um, which is a one-day-old rice with water, and you just put it in the blender, mix it up, and then you add it to your batter recipe, and what that does is it helps, gives you a really good um, texture. Beautiful. Ooh, I can hear the sizzling. Bubble, bubble. And, and how long does it usually take for these little uh, cups to be ready? Bangkok will only take about three to four minutes, especially if you have the right pan. And what's great about Bangkok that I love is not only that it's small, you can eat as many as you want. Mm -hmm. um, there's seven well in each of the Bangkok. And if you have family with dietary restrictions, this is the best dish for you, mm -hmm. right? Because in one um, batch, you can make as many topping as you want. Oh, that's oh, genius. That's awesome. So yes. I have somebody who likes meat. I'm going to add meat. I have somebody who um, likes um, shrimp. I'm going to put shrimp. I have somebody who's vegetarian. I'm going to add the vegetarian options. I mean, it's just so fun and easy. Your kids can participate. That sounds um, fun, yeah. for sure. Everyone <laughs> likes to customize. And we were just talking about feeding people and showing them you love them. So yeah. having different things that people want to put in there is awesome. Exactly. That's it's crazy. really fun to watch cook, too. Yeah. And I think this is a, um, a dish that I think has a lot of ins um, inspirations from the French era when mm. they, they ruled over Vietnam. You know, mm -hmm. we have a lot of Vietnamese food is a lot of um, inspirations from Chinese and French cooking. I think this is one that's definitely from the French area era. And I think this kind of, I don't know if you guys see it, this kind of resembles like a small quiche. Yes, yes it does. Yeah. Exactly. I, see that. I do see that. Yeah. Is it hard to pull them out once they're done or should they slide right out? Um, they should slide right out, but um, you have to be generous with oil here. So you almost think of this as something you're cooking um, like in a fryer and, oh, and uh -huh. so if you're hesitant about it, you know um, Sometimes you have a hard time. I use an offset, uh, offset uh, spatula to kind of work my way in um, The other trick is to make sure that the pan is hot. Mm -hmm. So this is a cast iron pan uh -huh. So heating the pan up is really important too, right? What kind of oil should you use for this? Does it matter? I use um, Vegetable oil uh -huh. um, I I like vegetable oil in um, Asian cooking just because it's light, um, it's easy that you can work with. Beautiful. Now, while you're working, you actually did prepare a few that are already done that we're going to be able to try. So what are we going to be trying? So you are trying, so Carly, I know that you're a vegetarian, uh -huh. so I have a vegetarian option for you. So, you know, 
And a lot of our menu, we actually call this tartlet um, or Bangkok tartlet. It's just because it re resembles it. Mm -hmm. And you have mushrooms and bean sprouts that's already set for you. You have a little bit of parsnip puree on top mm. and a little bit of black tobacco with um, cilantro, micro cilantro. Ooh. And then for you, I give you um, a shrimp options and a pork option so that you get to try it. Cool. And then there's the dressing that you would dip it in. You just dip it in there? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Dip, dip. Okay. Beautiful. Let's try it. And what's in the dressing? Um, it is a fish sauce dressing uh -huh. um, with um, vinegar, sugar, salt, mm -hmm. um, pickled daikon carrots, mm -hmm. um, and a little bit of, if you like, uh, if you like Thai chili, dip I in. Do, girl. She's spicy. Yeah. Give her the spice. <laughs> so yummy. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's yes. amazing. Thank These you. are absolutely delicious. We're going to have to come visit you on Bay Bridge. Yes, please. And we'll have more info up on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live. Have the best weekend ever. We will bye, see you Monday. Bye, bye. <laughs> I want to see you smile. Take you another mile.